Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Welcome. Welcome to Contract Kitchen. Today we're making... Yeah, what are we making? Ginger strips. Ginger strips! They only come out around Christmas. Which I appreciate because the good okay. stuff shouldn't be readily available yeah. all the time. You have to build the anticipation for the cookie. Correct. So... Fun fact, this was the first baked good that you made for me. Not me, but oh. that I tasted when of yours. When we went to Christmas? When we went to Christmas. Yeah. So it's super easy. And we're going to do it. Okay. Yeah. Tis the season. Tis the season. What are our ingredients? We have butter. It needs to be softened, so I'm going to just pop it in the microwave for a quick second. Oh, you didn't see what's, the, what's going on on the TikToks? No. Between your boobs? Between your boobies. Oh. Because the microwave overcooks it. I know, you gotta watch it, you gotta be careful. Yeah, so you so, know, when it gets to body temperature, it's ready <laughs> to go. In a little bit, we will have softened butter, mm. some sugar, granulated sugar. Look how cute and organized. One egg. Okay. The dark molasses, which is what's gonna Ooh. make it what it is. Delicious. Amen. <laughs> and then, your typical spices, the cinnamon, yeah, nutmeg, yeah, clove. Mm. We're here for it. What a family. A and, salt. and salt and flour. Oh, salt is very important in yeah. baking. You gotta balance it. Absolutely. So we're just gonna mix everything in our KitchenAid because we're not gonna mix by hand. It's yeah. too much work. <gasps> Look how handy that is. I've never seen that before. Oxo sells a uh, not fun. not sponsored sells a scoop that you can just keep in your <laughs> container. James is over there. He's just mind so is this blown. Is half cup, and we need two and a half cups of okay. flour. Okay. Um, this recipe is a family recipe. Yes, my Ooh. grandmother, my maternal grandmother, Mommer. Mommer. Um. She, I think, is the only one that has ever really made it. Yeah. And even my dad says that, like, he can't get the consistency right. Really? On these. Yeah. Can you? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at her go. So, we're going to do two and a half cups. Okay. Uh, all purpose flour? Of all purpose flour, yeah. Nothing fancy. Just your run of the mill flour. Uh, is. Ha 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 ha. Uh,. Is Mommer the reason that you know all the baking things? All of your... I wish, but no. It's just you? Yeah. My dad bakes a lot. Yeah. So two and a half cups. Two and a half cups. I'm pretty sure that was two and a half. Great. I might have lost count, but I think that's... Oh. I'll know, I think, by the consistency. Yeah. If it's too dry. And it does... That's the thing. It feels like a dry cookie because Water. it's going to be kind of crumbly. Yeah. And then we're going to press it all down into the baking sheet. And the molasses makes yeah. it happy. Yeah. Okay, next. We need, I don't have a fun scoop for this. Darn. But we need one cup of sugar. Should I help? Yeah, I was just going to hand you this. Okay, cool. I can do it. It's a half cup. So two of those. Mm, I'm just going to pour it over here. That was two. Two? Yep. Cool. Okay, one egg. <laughs> okay, love it. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Okay, and this is one. Yep, teaspoon. Try to think about that for a second. Like one, two. No. Okay, nice. And then we'll do a half teaspoon of everything else. So okay. we'll do oh, of all the spices. Yep, and that's a half teaspoon. So half teaspoon cinnamon. Bleep. Half teaspoon ground nutmeg. For some reason, I thought they'd have really? Yeah, just a little amount. You don't need much? No. A just a essence. Oh. <laughs> a whisper. And half a teaspoon of clove. Ooh, your clove is getting... I'm almost out. I need to add it to my grocery list. But I had at least enough to make one more batch for this season. Okay. And half a teaspoon of salt. Salt. My favorite. If I ever have to be put on a low-sodium diet. Oh, I know. It will be the end of me. It'll be the worst. Okay. How's our butter? Room temp. Oh, body temperature. So fast. Oh my God, it's a, it's. 
seven. Good. And so speedy too. <laughs> I run warm. So <laughs> yeah. Hot tits. Hot tits. <laughs> Only okay. her good friends can say that, but <laughs> close friends. Close friends. Yeah. And so, family. And family, apparently. <laughs> and how. <laughs> so a whole stick of butter. It's a lot of butter. Holy moly. Do you want me to put this thingy on? Yeah. Okay. Now that we have all the ingredients in. Yup. Okay. And then the final ingredient that's going to make it what it is. I guess maybe the ginger would technically be making it. Oh, I forgot ginger. Oh. And half a teaspoon of ginger. <laughs> Forget nothing. Love it. I love a ginger. But I think the molasses is really what makes it the game changer. The ginger. Should I start so. spinning? Oh yeah, we gotta add the molasses nope. first. And you do a fourth cup of molasses. Holy moly. So. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Perfect. So now, now we can mix it all. Okay. And we'll speed this part up. Okay. Low and slow. We'll just pulse it. There we go. There we go. I just went too hot, too fast. Yeah. Mm. Bing. So on a greased cooking sheet, okay, cookie sheet, cookie, cooking, cooking, little spray. Oh, you know what I should have done? What? Now that we're about to finish this portion of oh, the yes. My Taco Bell apron that my brother-in-law The other contract. Me. Yeah, the other contract gifted me for Christmas. Well, Some might say it's the coolest gift ever. Wouldn't some you, might. Really? I would. I would, too. So now we're going to dump the mix okay. onto the pan okay. and smush it. Okay, that's fun. Mmm. Oh, take that off. Yeah, it does look a bit crumbly. crumbly. So, like, it looks deceiving. Yeah, it, like sand almost. Yeah. yeah. But once we yeah, start pressing it down, rings yeah, rings come off. Rings come off. We'll just both. Oh, this is fun. Spread. It won't cover the whole sheet. Oh, it will not? No. Okay. Sorry, I didn't say that. You're before. totally fine. I was like, Wah. And then we'll just want to push it down till it's pretty evenly thin throughout the whole. Yeah. Kind level. of same level throughout. Okay. But it does feel like we're playing in the sandbox. It's so cute. Yeah. Okay, fun. So here we have. Easy to do. Yeah. Simple okay. enough. Okay. It'll bake at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. I keep it in closer to the 12 minute mark. Okay. So we'll just go for the four. power of editing. We're back. We're back. Cookies have been baked. Cooled down. Cooled down. Okay. And now we're going to make a little frosting mm. to drizzle over. Delicious. So back in our mixing bowl. Okay. We're going to add three fourths of powdered sugar, mm. three fourths cup. Love. The booby butter didn't work out. We should have had the butter stay in between the titties for a little bit longer. <laughs> booby butter. Now that's the, the life lesson. The booby butter. Yeah. Life lesson. Yeah. Okay. Um, we are going to add a tablespoon of milk. Oh. 2% any kind of milk? 2%. If you're lactose intolerant, maybe a, I feel like an almond, an almond milk would do the same. Sorry, one tablespoon or two? Just one. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So little. We're going to use about a tablespoon of butter. butter. And this one, this butter has been sitting out on the counter. Not booby butter. So I feel like that's about a tablespoon. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. And half a teaspoon of some vanilla, imitation vanilla. I don't know if this is true or not, but growing up, my mom always said, like, if you have a burn, like, if you burn your yeah. hand on the stove, we would put vanilla on our burns. Interesting. Yeah. We did a butter burn situation. Butter burns. 
Yeah. Or um, Malk. Malk? Yeah. Intrigue. So we're going to use the whiskey guy now. Whiskey guy. We're just going to whip it on up. Yeah. Some more milk. I like to put a little bit more milk in. Yeah. To get a little to more runny. Little, yeah. Makes sense. But not much, just like a small splash. Because Kelly, you drizzle it. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, great drizzle. I don't know if it's on screen either, but we can yeah. drizzle. Yeah. So that's what we want to see. Yay. I'm very surprised with how viscous that became. Yeah. Ooh. Which is perfect because now you just kind of let the icing do the talking for you. And <laughs> you can do this if you want, but you'll just kind of. Traditionally, we cut at an angle. I don't know why, but you get a little old wedge bite. Yeah. Do you want to do the last sure. little bit? Sure. Spice with the different colors. Oh, I have not. Ooh, like a little red, like a red yeah. Ooh. You should make it a little bit more festive. Red, green, and white. Yeah. I love a sprinkle. Can never. A little sprinkle. You can never go wrong with a little sprinkle. A festive sprinkle. And with that, we have our beautiful ginger strips. And I don't have a clean knife. I feel like we should cut into these right now, even though the frosting's still wet. Hey, will you give it a little taste test? I don't think I've had a warm ginger snap. So we'll just speed along. Mm. And we'll just cut a little yeah. slice, a little few slices off. Personally, I like the, the diagonal cut. Yeah, it adds some character, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's sticking together. <clears throat> I'm into it. There you go. Ginger strips. Here's. Thanks for coming to Contract Kitchen. Yeah, with Kelly. Until next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.